new CEO for Wood Authority, Mr. Barry Omanson. Um, Mr. Barry started a uh, work from uh, Friday as the new CEO of uh, Wood Authority. So it's my pleasure to introduce him. Uh, it was a quite a transparent journey that brought us here in terms of uh, with the uh, invaluable assistance from ra large uh, reputable firms like uh, KPMG. We enterprise the chief executive position locally and glo uh, globally to ensure that we find the best person to lead the uh, web uh, forward. Uh, once the several candidates were shortlisted, we went through a rigorous uh, vetting process uh, with KPMG, which ultimately led to Mr. Barry being selected as the new CEO. Barry has an uh, extensive uh, water-related background and has spent numerous years at uh, executive management level in large organizations and has the full confidence and the backing of the board to take uh, WEF to the next level. Uh, now I will hand over to Barry to say a few words uh, about himself and his uh, new role. Hello, the night, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here. So I've got some, a few notes. Um, I'll, I'll read something and I'll, and I'll talk myself as well. First, thank you so much for the media being here. The media play a, a very critical role uh, in the economy of every country and I appreciate your attendance here today. Uh, I want to uh, ensure that all our customers are satisfied and receive the service delivery of the highest calibre. Uh, and this will be the up my utmost priority, the customer service, or client service as I call it. I worked my way up through the ranks. I left home and school at the age of 14 to uh, look after my sisters and brothers and my mother and joined the Navy when I was 15. Uh, I worked as an apprentice fitter. As a fitter, I worked my way up to the executive level to report to boards of multinationals uh, and large organisations over the time of my life. So I, I believe I'm able to relate to people from the ground, because I've been there myself, to talk at the executive level across uh, international areas. Uh, one of my media points of focus will be developing a culture of world-class service delivery, where we focus on our staff to deliver the best services they're able to deliver. And that's my promise to Fiji. On a more personal note, I'm very impressed uh, by the famous Fiji full of smiles. It's been amazing. It just makes me smile as well too. It's been very welcoming the short time I've been in Fiji and I very much benark it to everyone. I played a little bit of actually I played a fair bit of rugby in my time uh, early on. I was in, into athletics and I was uh, represented in rugby across a number of areas. Not quite as good as Fiji, but still quite a number of areas. Uh, and actually when I was doing my apprenticeship uh, in the Navy. I was with a, a Navy, the Fiji Navy guy, you might know him, uh, Tom Mitchell. He played international rugby in the 80s, he's a friend of mine. And actually, in fact, he was the only one that could run faster than me. And at that stage, he could run faster than anyone in Australia. Tom Mitchell was a very good player, and I'm making contact with Tom this week, actually. My time in the Navy also has taught me uh, about discipline, about respect, uh, and about teamwork. I'll bring that to Royal Authority of Fiji as well. I look forward to serving all Fijians uh, to the very best of my ability uh, and to help fulfil the Water Authority's mandate, and that is to provide safe and clean drinking water and wastewater services to all Fijians. I uh, thank you for coming. I look forward to having a good relationship with the media. I'm very excited. I'm here with my wife, Tony, uh, and I can't wait to uh, get in and make a difference to the organisation and to Fiji. Uh, thank you very much.